Hey there. Look at that. He is so cute. <laughs> I love little Poppy. He's so adorable. He loves to nurse on that blanket. Now he's like pulling at his toenails or something. <laughs> well, hey there, y'all. I know I have not been posting much lately. I haven't really had a whole heck of a lot to talk about. And I just thought, you know, you might get tired of me just talking about the same things every day. Because that's usually what I end up doing. Because I don't have the most exciting life. Um, <laughs> hey, honey. Oh, he's coming up here. Hi, baby. Um, yeah, I don't really do a whole lot. And, you know, what I, what I do do is, you know, maybe not that exciting for some people. Um like me going skating all the time which I haven't decided yet at this point as I'm recording this if I'm going to add in some more skate footage <laughs> that I recorded yesterday I don't know I mean I'm just it's it's really kind of embarrassing um, I re really won't specify why I find it embarrassing but it is um, and so it's kind of it's, it's really difficult for me to put things like that on you know on here <laughs> but anyway so yeah yesterday was interesting uh, because I did go now let me see was it first so before or after I can't remember I think it was after uh, yeah first of all I'm gonna show you a clip <laughs> Of what was going on yesterday morning before I left to go out to skate um, there was kind of a ruckus going on outside and I was like what in the world is this because I had just been outside to feed the roosters and it was right after that that I came in and I'm hearing like all this commotion going on and I was going what and so I, I recorded what was going on so I'm going to show you that right now Oh my goodness. Um, this could be one of the Jurassic Park cows that I've been talking about. That seems to be loose. And eating bananas. I can hear him breathing. Crap. This is like literally right outside my back door in the place behind me. I heard yelling outside and I was like, what in the world's going on? I saw the guy running across the street. And then I looked over and I'm like, oh my Lord. He's broken free. <laughs> oh my heavens. And there's more coming this way. Oh my God. Oh, this is an interesting way to start the day. And there's some more over there. I'm not sure why they're just out loose like this. I can literally hear this guy breathing. Now, if he starts doing that Jurassic Park sound thing, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> It'd be kind of nice if he would, though, because then I could get a really good <laughs> recording of it. Oh, my God. I can't believe they're just loose like this. He should be attached to something. But he's not. I'm hoping that maybe somebody's going to come and get him or attach him back to something or other. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Good 
morning. Oh dear. Hi. God. <laughs> Here comes another one. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Generally, there's somebody that's with them when they're out like this. Or they're attached to something so that they're not just like running loose in the street. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of creepy. It's a little scary because, you know. Yeah, I think those other ones are, must be attached to something, maybe. Or not. Maybe they're not. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> I This is the closest I've gotten to these guys. Um, oh. oh, gosh, y'all. Okay, I think I'm going to go back inside because my heart is, like, racing right now. <laughs> Oh, gosh, because he's got, like, big horns and stuff. Okay, I'm going to go back inside. Oh, dear. He, he's swatting the flies off his back. Okay, I'm going to go inside now because I'm a little, little creeped out and scared. <laughs> <laughs> and I should probably clarify something. Um, I'm always calling them the Jurassic Park cows. Well, I sent... A message to my sister yesterday because I was telling her about this that was going on and I was telling her about the Jurassic Park cows and all of that and then she sent me a message back that was something like um, you do realize Marlon Perkins that cows are female <laughs> and these are not female cows so I was like, uh, no, I actually didn't realize that. And I didn't really know who, what she was talking about when she said Marlon Perkins. I'm like, what the heck is that? So I looked it up because in my message to her, I said, I think I live, I, I sometimes feel like I live in Wild Kingdom because there's just always these crazy things that go on with, you know, animals and snakes and you name it. So I said, I feel like I live in Wild Kingdom. Well, I didn't realize it until I looked it up after I, her message that Marlon, Marlon Perkins, and I don't know if that's how you say his name, he used to be on Wild Kingdom, the big, you know, it was a big TV show many years ago. So, anyway, <laughs> but she corrected me, and so then I started researching cows and stuff, because I know that there's like cows and then there's bulls and steers and ox and all that well apparently there's like a big difference depending on like the age and all of this technically you know she's right cows are females <laughs> so all this time that i've been call calling them the jurassic park cows they've not actually been cows they've been bulls but in my mind i'm thinking when i think of a bull I'm thinking of these big, gigantic, massive, scary animals that have these gigantic horns, you know. that's that, In my mind, that's what I'm thinking is a bull. But technically, I guess these are bulls. And it was a good thing that I actually did some research on this yesterday because I found out, because I was wondering about this. I thought, you know, how aggressive are these animals? Turns out, bulls are very aggressive animals, and you do not want to mess with them at all. <laughs> and you do not want to ever turn, turn your back on them, because they will chase you down, and they will stomp you until the end. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm glad I found that out, because I'm, I encounter these things all the time. I mean, you know, I can go places... And they'll just be standing on the side of the road, grazing, you know. Most of the time they're attached. But as you could see from that video, he was not attached. He was, I, I think originally he was, because it looked like he had like 
the rope or something like hanging off of them. I couldn't really, it was kind of hard to tell a little bit, but uh, needless to say, he had come unattached. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I wouldn't want to be out there encountering this guy in that situation. So I was, you know, reading up some stuff on him and everything and, you know, trying to find out, like, you know, what would you do if you encountered one of these and, you know, they were coming after you, how do you handle it and all this stuff. And it's scary, man. It's like now I'm, I'm a little more scared than I was before because I was already scared because they're so big, you know, and you don't know what's going on in their mind. I also read, don't look them in the eye, <laughs> which I have a tendency to do. I always, you know, it's like I've got, I always want to look people in the eyes. I always want to look animals in the eyes. But um, from what I read, they're like, do not do that. Do not look them in the eye. Look away from them and, you know, try to avoid eye contact as much as you possibly can which I was not doing yesterday when I was recording that video. I was standing there looking at him, and you saw he looked at me. <laughs> Thank goodness that fence wall was there. And then they've got a lot of, like, palm fronds and stuff that's stacked up on the other side of the fence, so he probably wouldn't have charged at me. Because I did read that generally if you can get near a wall, if you're encountered with one of these animals get as close to a wall as you can because they generally will not try to attack if there's a wall there I guess unless they're really angry <laughs> so I think I was okay but I still was like getting some vibes like I better get the heck out of here man because <laughs> I was getting scared standing there with him looking up at me and he kept like walking closer and stuff so I'm glad I know about that now because I see them all the time. I did a video not too long ago where I was standing across the street and filming them because they were laying, you know, there was one that was laying in the grass and then one that was standing right next to the road that was like eating a bunch of weeds and stuff. And I was standing over there filming them and I mean, I'm pretty sure that they were attached to something, but it's like as big as they are, even if they're attached by a rope, I'm sorry, but they could easily break that rope without any problem at all if they got angered. And that's the other thing. You know, I've been talking about them for the longest time, and I said, you know, these angry cows, they sound like Jurassic Park, you know, creatures or something, you know, because they sound so angry. They are angry. That's why they're making that sound. I read that, too. Because I was like clicking on things where people were asking questions. And there was a question that said, um, why do cows and bulls make that mooing sound, you know? And they said, it's generally because they're angry. And so I'm like, so yeah, every time I hear them, they sound like they're mad as hell. <laughs> and apparently they are. So, yeah, I don't want to be uh, encountering those big, gigantic, scary creatures. <laughs> I don't want to. I mean, I talk to them, you know, when I see them, like if I'm riding down the street and they're like on the side of the road and I like see them and they're looking at me, I'm like, hi, have a great day. <laughs> you know, I do talk to them, but... I'm going to try to be very careful when I see them now because if you're not supposed to turn your back on them and they're on the side of the road and you're going past, your back is to them. <laughs> so I don't know what that means, you know. It's like, I don't know, man. Not something I really want to have to deal with. But anyway, yeah, it's been a crazy week because day before yesterday, um... <laughs> I had planned on going skating that morning, but I actually woke up later than normal. I usually never wake up as late as I did because I had planned on getting up early like I always do. I was going to take my coffee and go down to that park to go skate, and I was going to have my coffee there and stuff, you know. 
But I woke up and it was like way later than normal. So I'm thinking, well, great, I can't really go now because I was expecting a delivery that had was supposed to have been delivered the day before and never showed up. So I didn't go, but I was glad I didn't go because I was in here having my coffee and I looked out the window and I was like, oh my God, there was this big, huge snake out in my yard and this was not a green garden snake. I don't know what kind of snake this was. It may not have been a dangerous one. It was brown, but whatever it was, I was like, oh my God. So I was like calling to my landlady. She came along, she took care of it and got it out of the yard and everything. Um, and she was telling me, she was like saying that, you know, they want to come out here because I had like vines and stuff that had grown out there. I thought they looked really pretty. I mean, I loved the vines and there were actually some weeds out there that I liked the way it looked. It looked nice up against the fence wall, you know. <laughs> um, but she was telling me, she's like, you know, they want to hide in there. And that's exactly where this thing was, too, because I had seen it in the yard. By the time I went to get her, I didn't see it. And I'm like, oh, my God, I don't know where it went now. And then I saw it coming, you know, it was kind of messing around over there in those weeds. So that's how I ended up spending my more my morning that day was out there getting rid of all those weeds and vines and everything and trying to get everything up. So, um, but I've ordered, and it's been shipped, so it's on its way. I've ordered some uh, snake repellent. It's these, like, ball things that um, you can hang around your yard, and it repels them, the scent of it or whatever. It, like, messes with their senses, and they don't want to come anywhere near it. So I'm going to hang those around the yard and hope that the, it will keep them away and it's supposed to also keep away scorpions and other you know creepy crawly type things so <laughs> I'm hoping it works but I mean they sell thousands and thousands of these things apparently I mean when I was looking them up online there was tons of them and tons and tons of reviews and it seemed like you know people were quite satisfied with them so we'll see how that goes but then yesterday, I did end up going after the bull thing. I'm so used to calling them cows. <laughs> after the bull experience, um, I did go skating, and that was kind of weird. That was another strange thing. Yesterday was bizarre because I went, and I was happy to be there, and I was excited. And I actually was skating on the longer I, – I skated on – like all, pretty much the whole length of that area that I was on last week. So I decided, okay, I'm going to just go ahead and do the whole thing. And I was enjoying it, but the whole time I was there, I had this weird feeling in the pit of my stomach. And I just kept thinking, I'm just not feeling real comfortable about being here today. And I don't know what it was. And I kept skating for a little while, but eventually that feeling just got stronger and stronger. And I don't know if it had anything to do with the fact that, you know, where I'm, I was skating, right behind it is that pond kind of thing that looks like it could very easily be infested with snakes. And there was like um, weeds and tall grass and stuff that was right behind me. And maybe there was just something inside of me that was kind of paranoid that... There could be a snake back there or something. I don't know. But whatever it was, eventually the paranoia got way too strong. And I was just like, no, I'm I'm just going to go. Because I, I, try, I tend to trust my gut instincts. And whenever something inside feels off, I listen. Because there's been many times in my life when... I listened to it and then later on found out there was a good reason why my inner voice was saying get the hell out of here or whatever and times when I didn't listen and regretted it so you know I just I, I trust my gut instinct I don't know what could have happened or what whatever and I don't really need to know all I know is that I got out of there and I was okay as far as you know nothing happened there and I went and got me some of my chicken that I like and all of that. But then later on in the day, after I came home, 
I started feeling ill. I felt so sick. I don't know if it was the chicken that I ate, but my stomach was killing me all day long. I felt so horrible yesterday because I thought I was going to post a video yesterday. I was going to post the, the bull and the skating stuff and whatever. You know, I was going to do all that yesterday, but oh my God, I, I just felt so awful all day long. And I ended up going to bed at like eight o'clock last night because I just was miserable. Luckily, I feel better today, so I'm really glad about that. But, yeah, yesterday was just weird. It was just kind of a weird day. I mean, I still don't know, you know, why I felt so uncomfortable at that part, because I enjoyed it so much last week. I mean, I loved it, and I was having so much fun. And I don't know, yesterday, it, I could have gotten, like, heat sickness or something because it was so hot outside and everything, and, you know, maybe it was you know, from the heat or something, I don't know, but whatever the case, you know, it just was a weird day, I enjoyed the skating, but at the same time, the whole time I was there, I just felt uneasy, so I didn't as enjoy it as much as I had hoped I would, just for that reason alone, not the skating itself, I mean, that I was liking, but Anyway, I've gone on for 17 minutes now, and so with the other clips and stuff, this is going to be kind of a long video, but I haven't posted in a while, and I'm sorry. Um, I'm just, I'm not sure how often I should post, because I don't know what you want to hear me talking about. I mean, I, you know, talk about the things that I find interesting, <clears throat> but you may not, and so I don't, I don't know, but... I enjoy making the videos. I enjoy sharing this stuff with you. So I'm hoping that you'll stick around. I would appreciate it though if you like the videos. If you would comment. Because I almost never get comments on my videos. And that makes a big difference in helping my channel get put out there. And you know that's another reason why I don't really feel compelled to make a lot of videos anymore. Because my channel is just not moving at all. It's just kind of sitting there. Because nobody's really seeing it, I don't think. So it helps if you can comment <laughs> and please subscribe and all of that. So I appreciate it. Um, I may be sticking this. I guess I'll stick the the skating on the end if you want to see it. Just know I'm I'm embarrassed by it. Okay, I am, and I've got my own personal reasons for why. And it may not take a rocket scientist to figure out why, but. <laughs> But I'm going to share it anyway because I it, it's you know I, I filmed it and I got a better angle this time as far as like how I recorded it. I didn't sit my phone on the ground. I actually had this tablet with me and I stuck it in the back of my bike basket so it was kind of up a little higher. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to stick that on here. You don't have to watch if you don't want. So um, anyway, I hope y'all are having a great day and happy Fourth of July to everybody that celebrates it. And I'll. Talk to you again soon.